Hey guys and girls, a little bit of a project here, uh, not exactly a project, but uh, this is just a replacement car that we've got in the family. Uh, and we've decided to clean out the intake air manifold because obviously it's a diesel, it's the inline six. Uh, we've got the intake manifold off here. Apparently there's no videos of this on YouTube yet, so we thought we'd, yeah, we'd do one. It's in there where it's nice. It's inside there where it's nice, yeah. Have you got, got my keys? Yes. Put my torch on. Three. Can you see that in there, guys? Looks lovely in there, doesn't it? It's all nice and, and clogged. Yeah, it's a good old EGR. So we're going to clean all that out. I'm just going to sit in the bath of petrol or whatever, I'm not sure. Uh, bottle brush in there and stuff. Clean it all out, get it all nice and clean. Alright, when we take that anti shudder valve off, let's look at the state of that in there. Let's get my torch on you, huh? Uh. Maybe I'll leave it somewhere. Do, 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 do. Screw that back on again. It's a good torch, this is. It's only that big on the key ring, but now it works good. Oh, look at the state of that inside there. It's oh, it's actually really tough. It's like putty. It is, yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's like clay. It's, it's like uh, moulding clay. Yeah. Look at the state of that in there. God, I'm getting some cracking shots on this camera. Let's zoom into that, shall we? Yeah. Hold it still, Johnny. Yeah. It's not going to zoom me on the back. Unfortunately, I've got it set to automatic zoom. But you get the idea, guys and girls. It's not very pleasant in there. You don't want to lick it. Put it that way. You never know. Good EGRs. Yeah. It should do really good. But, uh, yeah. The uh, ports are a bit dirty. This car has got how many miles on it, Ali? Uh, 97,000. 97, so almost 100,000 miles it's got. Um, but, uh, it's pretty good. Nice, nice and quick. Get my torch to fire up again. I'll show you what the ports inside here look like. Can we get the torch down? Yeah, it's too bright, I think, unfortunately. So it can't see in. Might be able to see that. See the valves in there, guys? Oh, it's just going to go out of focus, is it? It's that one there that's worse, isn't it? That one there, yeah. <coughs> it's just going to go out of focus, unfortunately. But uh, one cool thing that I wanted to show you guys, you ever seen a valve moving in an engine? Uh, this actually starts and runs, even with all this disconnected, which is quite impressive. So uh, just give it a fire up, Ali. And we'll try and get this on the, uh, on the camera. It should just show up. Sounds a bit like a two-stroke. <laughs> yeah, straight six diesel, three liter. How oh, very cool. Just turn my torch off, would you? <laughs> it's still gone. Yeah. So um, the process in taking this manifold off on this uh, this car. This is the um, three series, uh, 2010 version, isn't it? Yeah. N57 yeah. engine. N57 engine. Right, the process of taking this off on this particular engine, first of all, there's plenty of cables on it. You've got to unplug them all. Find all your cables, unplug. Um, then, uh, we 
we should have done a video on this earlier, of course, but then um, you have got, you know, things like uh, there's, there's a cable, there's a connectors which connect them to this, so you've got to take them off. Um, where is it on that manifold? Yeah, you've got these things here which you can just unclip, jam a screwdriver in it and pry it open and it'll open up. So it's like on both of them there. Nice and easy. Um, you've got a uh, little tiny, if I can find them, these guys here, if you can see that. Now we haven't got the right thing to undo those with, it takes these kind of things, look, these uh, e-sockets. Now we haven't got one that's small enough to do that, that one just spins around in that. So what we ended up doing was uh, using uh, a 5 mil, which worked perfectly. So we used, you know, they, they sit in there really nice and snug. Because they're only going into plastic, it wasn't tight. So they come out really easy. You alright Dave? <laughs> Um, one other thing as well to remember is, you know, you just connect your boost hose and things like that. Uh, on your dipstick, your oil dipstick here, you do have a bolt, 10mm bolt, which sits on the side of it. It's a bit of a pain to get into because it's right next, butted up next to this um, aircon pipe. So it's, it's really difficult to get in. But uh, that bolt there is located, just flip that over for me. Uh, it's located. Where was it? Yeah, that's it there. So it's right there on the, uh, just as you look at the throttle body. It's, it's not throttle body, you know, this thingy. The uh, anti shudder valve, or EGR sucker inner valve. It's right on that, so yeah. There was something else I was going to tell you as well, I can't remember what it was. Uh, can't really be that important. EGR pipe, yes, EGR pipe that's in your cylinder head. It will just come out as you pull the thing out. Obviously the bolts are really good design. They won't fall out, so there's no, no, no you know, you're not going to lose them. So that's really nice. So yeah, that's about it to be fair. We're going to clean this manifold up and put it back on again. And it uh, should be good. should be good. I'm very impressed by how easy this car is to get access to all the service items. Your oil filter, right there. Lovely. Why can't they all be like that? Hey, you're right there. <laughs> yeah, nice and easy. You don't have to take this strut brace off either, which is nice. You can do it all without taking that off. So there you go, just with a simple tool kit you've got there. Well, I say simple, it's, uh, it's the Halfords brand tool kit if you're in the United Kingdom. Uh, Alfred's 200 piece toolkit, one of those is literally all you need, and you can get the whole thing off. Lovely stuff. Alright, guys and girls, thanks for watching. We'll probably put a little bit more to this video in, in, you know, in the future, maybe even after this clip. Uh, and hopefully, I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out. Hey, guys and girls, right then. If you ever wanted to service your swirl flaps on this particular uh, intake manifold, um, what you do is you have to strip it down as as, uh, as much as you basically can. You have to take your swirl flap actuator off, your uh, electronic motor, which just literally pops off nice and easy, no damage caused. Um, you then have to remove the... There's like a little arm here, which uh, thing is on. You have to very carefully get a screwdriver underneath the lip and lift it over this bit of a lip here and you can then remove that off, that will come straight off. And then what you do is, you have to get a pair of pliers, what I recommend you do is use some penetrating fluid like WD-40 or something and spray each of the swirl flaps uh, all along it because it's going to be very difficult to pull it out. And this bar here runs all the way through the whole lot. And what you have to do is you have to get your screwdriver, your, sorry, your pliers, um, I just use some of those, pointed pliers, very difficultly I must admit, uh, probably good idea to wait for the penetrating fluid to actually get all the way in and keep giving it a good dose of it, uh, and eventually you'll be able to pull it and, uh, and it will come out a little bit, and as soon as I got it out a little bit, I used, uh, oh those pliers there look, like nail puller kind of pliers on the bar, and I managed to extract the whole bar through, and when you do that, you'll be able to take your seals out, or well, you can take them out first, we, we actually took them out first, and the whole thing sits in like a little 
as you can see it sits in like a little uh, cup kind of thing um, and it just sits in this recess nice it's a very nice design and to take the actual swirl flap out because it's still stuck in there so flip that over just there there's a little rubber um, a bit like a, a rubber grommet kind of thing you can pry that out I was gonna do it here look there you go that will that will pull just out gently and then yeah. there you go the swirl flap is removed um, this is ideal if you want to service your, you know, clean up all your intake manifold, clean up all your swirl flaps like what we're doing here. And then, uh, obviously the fitment is the exact opposite of that. You just put them all back together again. And, uh, and fit them in with, with your rubber seal, you know, your rubber grommet thing. Uh, make sure they go in the right orientation. As you don't want to have, uh, have them sat in. You can see here, look, the orientation here. Your rubber, seat, your rubber grommet thing sits in that recess there. So it all sits in nice and nice and good. It's designed that non, nothing falls into the cylinder if anything fails. It's a really good design. Uh, nice and easy. And as soon as we've cleaned all these up, we'll, re, re, bleh, we'll get the words right. As soon as we've um, re, you know, cleaned all these up, we'll rebuild it all and start putting it all back together again. Although I might not document that. Just because it's the exact opposite of taking it all apart. It should be nice and easy. But uh, yeah, to clean it, we're just using good old-fashioned petrol, petroleum-based spirit, because it works well. And then we have got some other stuff as well. Where is it? We've got um, uh, um, intake and carburetor cleaner, which works quite nicely. Uh, and we've got some uh, geyser somewhere, which I can't see. It's around. Oh, there we go. Got some uh, geyser, which works good. Good stuff, and that does work quite well. We're just using a turkey baster there, just to uh, suck up some of the stuff and just to reapply. It does work well, as you can see. I don't think we're I don't think we're we're returning that to the uh, cutlery drawer anytime soon. <laughs> I think that can that be just a garage tool. But there you go guys and girls, there you go. If you wanted to know, that's how you do it. Alright, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next bit of the video. Or the, or the next video, depending. Peace out.